Hello everyone, my name is Henry Bojena. I'm one of the trainers for Columbus McKinnon. And today we're going to show you how to do a frequent inspection on a manual chain hoist. Uh, in this case, it's a Cyclone hoist, a CM product. One of the things that you want to know, see about the hoist is you do want to see who, who the manufacturer is. In this case, you can see it's CM. All right, the other thing that you need to see on here is the capacity. All right, so we've got both of those, so we're good there. Uh, now we're gonna move our attention over to, you know, the warnings. Uh, this hoist, because it is a manual product, it has this round cylinder, this yellow cylinder. It has all of the, basically the do's and don'ts of hoisting. All right, so that needs to be there, it needs to be legible, all right? Uh, obviously, if it's not legible, you can't read it. It's no use being there, all right? So it has to be legible. The chain, uh, again, does not have to have uh, any marks on it. Uh, nicks, gouges, welt splatter, things like that. This chain also, if you look at it, it will also be marked. It will have the, in this case, it has a little dot or a disc. Uh, and it also has, if I can find it here for you, uh, it's got the CM logo on here. Okay, there we go. It's got the CM logo. So we know this is Columbus McKinnon chain. Uh, disc grade or dot grade chain is what is placed in the manual product line. So we know we've got the proper chain. So we're gonna kind of just look over the chain. You don't have to look it over link by link. That's, that's a little bit more than what you need to do. Um, but you gotta look at the chain, make sure it's in good shape, make sure it's not worn. Uh, the places that you wanna look for wear is here in between the links. All right, if you see anything that looks out of place, uh, I would raise, uh, raise an issue about that. All right, the other thing is the hook. On uh, all hoists, the lower hook has to be able to swivel. It also requires a latch. The latch must be functioning properly. All right, so we, we've got the latch, the latch is functioning. Uh, the hook looks in good shape. Again, it's not damaged, it's not worn. Um, the pin is placed in it properly. Uh, again, it does swivel, so we're not worried about that. All right, the upper hook, look at the upper hook as well. The upper hook is not required to swivel. In this one, it does. All right, again, it has a latch, so it, it, that is required. All right, look at it, make sure it's the proper hook. Uh, it is a CM hook, so we're good there. No, no nicks, no damage, uh, no heat, uh, no, no evidence of heat damage. The hand chain, the hand chain, uh, all you really want to do is make sure that it's not really damaged. All right, some people, you know, the problem with, uh, that you'll have with a hand chain on a hand hoist is if it's too long, it might end up on the floor. Somebody might run it over with a tow motor or something like that, and they crush the links. Well, obviously you can't do that. You got to take it out of service. There is one link on here that is not welded. Uh, that is a link that you basically take a couple of wrenches, put it on there, and you can twist it open. That allows you to take this off, put a new one on. Uh, if the chain is damaged, you can cut that part out, put new chain in. We only allow people to repair hand chain. We do not repair load chain. All right, so load chain is not repairable. The hand chain, you can cut this, make it shorter, make it longer, whatever you want to do with it. All right, but the... Uh, Low chain, you cannot. Now, continuing with the uh, frequent inspection, I've got the hoist hung. Uh, so this way we can go ahead and actually operate the hoist. So we want to take the hand chain. Obviously, it moves through nice and easy. We're not getting hung up on anything. Uh, the, the low chain goes into the hoist nicely. It's not getting bound up. So that is something that we want to see. It's not making any strange noises. Uh, at this point in time, we also want to look to make sure that the dead end of the chain is actually attached to the hoist. All right, some hoists, um, they'll have either a dead end like this, or on lever tools predominantly, they'll have some kind of a, a ring uh, or some kind of a, a mechanism that the manufacturer will make and put to the back to the dead end of the chain. And that is simply because we don't want this chain to come through. All right, so we need some way to stop it because obviously it doesn't have limit switches like electric ones do. So that's our way of stopping the hoist from going too far. Uh, but at this point in time, you can look over the hoist, make sure everything looks good. There is no damage to the unit itself. So this hoist would be 
good to go into service. 